husband playing the game, you're playing wrestling, I do want to come and show you what I took. Um, I'm going to be eating a lobster tail and some shrimp that is cooking now. My shrimp and potatoes are cooking inside my Instapot. My lobster tail I'm going to put in the oven under a bowl for about maybe 10 to 12 minutes. We'll see. But yeah, and I'm also cooking a steak. So in a skillet, I'm just waiting on it to heat up because I bought, I bought some street tacos uh, ready to cook. I'm just going to heat them up. Um, it doesn't say any cooking oil or anything, you kind of just warm it up. I also made some homemade green salsa with those tomatillos I showed you in my grocery haul. I'm not sure if this video is going to be before the grocery haul or after, but most likely it might be after. Hmm, not sure, but anyway, um, these are from a grocery haul, and I made the green salsa for the street tacos. I have my... I'll pick a plate of the tops. And in the skillet, I have some fajita meat with some. Oh, I'll take the steam off. The fajita meat, which is cooking. Um, you see a lot of grease. I will be draining it, but I got that grease to, for the fajita meat to cook in along with the bell peppers and onions. So yeah, I'm going to put that back on and let that cook. Once I take the lid off, most of that grease will cook out. So let's see how to heat up these tacos, okay? My pan is tougher it looks like. It says that I'm supposed to just place it in the pan and wait for it to bubble up. It doesn't say put any oil in the, on there. It just says put it in the pan on medium heat. Once it starts to bubble, flip it over. So that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to see. Because I never, I've cooked street tacos before, but the ones that's already um, in the regular section, these I got, I can find in the regular section. So I got them out of the um, frozen section. So we're going to see. I feel like I should have put some oil in the pan, but we're going to see. I'm just waiting. Let's see. So, um, National Geographic movies where, or shows where they're saying, we're watching the two mate and we're going to see this beautiful creation. So that's what I feel like I'm watching. Do y'all kind of see the little bubbles? We're going to see. I kind of see them. Kind of. You know me, I had to let it bubble. And I don't know where my tongues are. And they say use tongues, and I don't know where they are. So I'm going to use a spoon and flip it over. But I guess it's kind of bubbling up, right? We're going to see. I got a whole 50 stack of them. So if I mess this one up, hey, I'll be spraying cooking oil in this skillet. So once the signs start bubbling up. I feel like I should wait a little longer. Should I? Should I? I feel like shit just gonna pop in my face for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Is that it? Is that what it's supposed to look like? I don't know. I feel like it needs to be brown. Oh, it's hot. I feel like it needs to be brown. I don't know. It's just me. We're going to see what we come up with, and I'll let you know how this, this little creation go, okay? All right, girl. <laughs> All right, it's bubbling up. All right, bye. Okay, so, yeah, you just have to just basically heat them up. I let them heat them a little till they got a little brown on them, but you just basically heat both sides, and that's it. So I think about maybe six of them, because I don't know if they're going to eat some. My daughter and um, if it's going to be the only one that's eating these, really. And they might eat some. Um, my fajita meat is still cooking. My shrimp and potatoes are done there in the instant pot. And I just put my lobster in the oven. I will be showing you how that looks. And my timer is on 9 seconds. So, I mean, like 9 minutes left. So, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, I realized I never show y'all my food. I started eating my lobster. I gave baby a piece, 
but this is the finished lobster. I got some potatoes, had some shrimp, but yeah, this is the finished result. I also chopped up some onions, kind of thin sliced. I had limes to go with the tacos. This is the rest of the fajita meat. I'm kind of draining it as I go to make the tacos. So yeah, that is everything. Uh oh, and I got one taco shell left. But that is everything. I'm going to eat, clean up my kitchen, and call it a night. Again, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Until then, I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye. Okay, so I have to do a voiceover. My son is sitting here watching Spongebob. Sorry if you hear it. But this is the next day, and I'm just going to be frying some shrimp. I'm also going to be frying my lobster, and I'll show you in a second. I also made a steak with this, a ribeye steak. Okay, guys, so this is the steak. I pan fried it on both sides, and then I put it in the oven. That is my shrimp that's finished, looking so yummy. And I'm cooking my lobster, and I will be flipping my lobster over and cooking it as well on the other side. And I just want to say thank y'all. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye!